Sharadi Riko Sile Mandi de Brada Dabai Corribarandi Riko Site Rubada Baya Dadi Baya. Father, we thank you for what you're doing now. For somebody that is listening, God, we thank you for that encounter. We thank you for for your glory. We thank you for the anointing that breaks every yoke and relifts everybody. We thank you that your word is sharper, it is quick, and it is alive, and it abides forever. In Jesus' mighty name, may somebody encounter you tonight, today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I hope you are well i hope this finds you well and strong in the lord because our god is still on the throne uh, in jesus mighty name uh, we thank god for what he's doing in your life we thank god for what he's doing in your life in jesus mighty name um that he's providing for you he's keeping you and that you are in health and you are wealthy in the name of jesus christ uh, i want to share something on my heart i'm going to say something personal uh, that i want to share with you from acts chapter 17. Uh, the bible says in from verses 27 it says that that they should seek the lord if happily they might feel after him my emphasis is going to be on feeling after god that to feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us and then verses 28 says for in him you live and move and have your being your being um it is okay to seek god it is okay to go it is okay to go on a prayer mountain and spend days fasting and praying it is okay uh to pray and shout aloud and and and, and do all these things uh that, that all these things are okay okay they are okay in a sense they are okay in a sense but he's talking about that that they may seek him if aptly they might feel after him uh, God is not interested in us just seeking him. He wants us to feel after him. A place of feeling after God is a place of relationship. Okay? Uh, I, I know many of us are involved in relationships. Girlfriend, boyfriend, a wife, husband, uh, and, and the sort. Uh, so you, you cannot tell somebody you love them just for the sake of love. So he says that you feel after him because that is a place of relationship. God wants to relate with you to the tiniest detail of your life. He's not interested in you going to seek him because you have an issue in life. He's not interested in you going to seek him because you want him to do something for you. No, that is not who God is. God wants to know you as much as you want to know him. And so he says that they may feel after him if happily they might find him. Though he be not far from you, God is not far. From those who are feeling after. He may be far from people who just go on prayer mountains to pray. Eh, and fast for long days. Months and what? You know, but he says, feel after me. He wants a relationship. Because God say, God, God wants to, to you to feel that the, the, the relationship part where you, you are overwhelmed by, by who God is. Eh, not because you want something from him, but you just want to know him. The feeling after. God wants to target your spirit. So... You, you, you feel you because it's a place where God is touching you. It's a place where you are having encounters with the person of Christ, the person of God. Okay? Not the hand of God that, like, God, I want to see this. God, I want you to do this. God, I want... No, no, no. God says, I want to know you. Eh? The, everything that concerns you, God wants to have a relationship with you. Eh? A love relationship. That says that you feel after him, though he be not far from you, because God is not far. Eh? When you people talk about seeking God, it makes feel like God is very far. God is not far. He's, but, but, but how do you find him? It is the feeling after, the relationship. It is the relationship. So you got to go from a place of going to fast long hours, which is okay. Going to pray for long hours, which is okay. God wants communion, fellowship. And fellowship is, 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 is a place where you feel after. Because God wants to deal with things in your life. God wants to change you, that person, your character. Your character. When you have an encounter with the character of Christ, that changes who you are. It changes who you are. You cannot overcome weakness. You cannot overcome bondage. You cannot overcome sin. You can't overcome all these other things that are overwhelming you if you're not in a place of the feeling after God. Feeling after God. It's a place where you walk with God softly. That place where no man can accept. That is a space 
that you can't share with anybody. It's your place, your personal space with you and the Holy Spirit, with you and God, the one who made you, the one who understands who you are. That is why he says that you feel after him and find him though he be not far. Why? He says in verse 3 that, that in him you live and move and have your his being. He's your life. He's your being. He's everything that you are. But you must feel after him. That's why he says that you feel after him. If you feel after him, you are going to find God. You are not going to find God when you pray too much and, and, and fast a lot. That is okay. I'm not saying you shouldn't do all those things. They are fine. But God wants to find. So that is what God hungers for when he, he wants to uh, have relationship with us. That's, that's his hunger. That is his heart. Eh? That men feel after him not just to pray not just to seek and fast and 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 all these things that are religious in a religious sense but god wants to go beyond that because god is not a religious person god is a god of relationship okay and you cannot you cannot have a relationship with somebody when you don't spend time with them if, if, if your relationship with somebody is about what you're asking from them and getting this and that and that and that you are missing out on a very important issue god wants to connect with you on that level feel after God because when you feel after him he says you will find him because he's not far from you he's not far from you everything you have in your life every issue every problem every sickness every disease all these things that are happening in your life you're just a feeling after a way just that feel after him and, and God desires he desires to reveal himself to you at a certain level he, at a certain level he desires to to reveal himself to you but he cannot if if your seeking of him is about needs and what you want to get he can't and he will not so that's why every time you when you finish seeking God you'll end up being disappointed God wants to reveal himself past your needs past your problems past everything else that is overwhelming you God wants to reveal himself to you he wants to take you in places in him that no man has stepped into because there are places and spaces in God that no man of God has even dreamt of entering but those spaces are only for people who feel after God. And so you must push yourself to that level because he wants to reveal himself to you. Why? He's not far from you. He's not far from you. He's just near you. But you must feel after him. And I pray to God, to you today, praying to God that you will enter that place. You will enter and desire to enter that place because it's not a place for everyone relationships are not for everybody they yes they may be that anybody has to be in relationship but they're not for everyone i pray that god will take you into that place the place of communion and fellowship with him that you seek him happily you might feel after him and find him though he be not far from you because god desires to reveal himself to you there are things god wants to show you he says there uh, what no eye has seen what no ear has heard the things he 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 has prepared for them that love him there's a condition them that love him them that love him so i pray that god takes you to that place in the name of jesus and you will encounter the person of christ at a a, a a deeper level at a deeper deeper level that is a place that elevates you that is a place that changes you that is a place that delivers you that is a place that, that it, it is a place that that, that 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 makes you wise and brings wisdom to you so I pray that, that your eyes will be illuminated to that place and you begin to feel after God. Because when you encounter God, something happens, something changes about you. Something happens to you. You know, it doesn't matter men giving up and doing this and saying this about you and talking about you. When you encounter God, something is going to happen to you. You will be a different man. You'll be a different woman. You'll be a different boy, a different girl. And I pray that God will reveal himself to you at a level deeper than where you are. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your grace. A grace that men, where men will seek to feel after you, not just to seek to get, but to know you at a deeper level. I pray that God, you release the anointing and the grace of God. I pray for people that are struggling with sin and, and, and addictions. I pray for people that are struggling with, with weaknesses. God, in the name of Jesus, that you deliver them.
My Father, even as they go to the place of feeling after you and having an encounter with the person of Christ in Jesus' mighty name, may you be delivered, may you be healed in your body in Jesus' mighty name. May you, everything that is falling apart align to you in your life in the name of Jesus. May God release grace to you that you've never seen before because His grace is sufficient in Jesus' mighty name. And may miracles break out and may they begin happening to you in the name of Jesus. May you encounter